<sighs> Alright, kitten. You're the brains here. What do you think we should do? Ah, oh, fuck. I'm sorry. You're probably in no state of mind to try and help stop a sick fucking serial killer. I swear to God, if he comes around here, I'll put him in the ground and I'll smile while I do it. Right, right. Sorry. Triggering words. I'm breathing. One, two, and... Whew. Okay, baby. Okay. I'll get some food on. Please, just tell me if there's anything I can do, okay? Do you want me to call Dr. Harlan? No? Okay. No, she's not. No, she's not. No. Fucking... Hot little food. Kitchen sauce. Oh, God. Lid stuck. This bull crap. Oh, I am the most muscly man in the world, and I can't open a jar of goddamn... <clears throat> oh, whatever. Hey, babe, you want red sauce or white? I can make you a garlic butter one, too, if you're feeling fancy. You got it. Huh? Has Mel ever been to Juvie? Ah, shit, I don't know. Sure as shit should have been with some of the crap he's pulled in the past. Say nothing of the creepy shit he's pulled recently. How come? You can't find a criminal record for this bozo? Ugh. Guess his mom really has been covering for him. Ain't no way he'd still be on the streets otherwise. Fuck. Nah, I ain't got exactly a great relationship with the police either, baby. Sure as shit aren't a serial killer, but I've got a record. Yeah, I got my record, and you got a record of being put in a fucking psych ward. I'm sorry, baby. I really am. I I'd have been there if I'd known. No, no, you're right. No use in worrying about it now. Good. Right back to cooking. Son of a... Ah. God. You would think after years of cooking, I'd actually finally know what I'm doing. Wait, wait, I might actually know what to do. I know, me having a thought, crazy. <laughs> Point is, I think I got something. Well, when Ma was working at the factory years ago, there was a lot of rampant abuse and crime going on. People reported it, but no one ever stepped in to check on it or do anything. Ma gathered a bunch of evidence and then sent it to the media. Once they stepped in, people were forced to do something about it. Yeah! Yeah, you got that recording? We'll make backups. Send them to any news outlet we can. Chief of police or not, they ain't gonna be able to ignore it. I heard the fucking thing, and Spencer calls Mel out by name and admits to his Ma being the chief of police. People may argue and call BS, but it's something, you know? Yeah, I'm a damn genius. For once, anyway. <laughs> Broken clock is right at least twice a day, huh? Thanks, kitten. I know you're humoring me, but, you know. Hey, uh, come here. My half-baked and somewhat not good dinner is ready, and you look like you need a break. Can't really blame you. Can't even imagine what you're feeling right now, kitten, but... But Dr. Helena said the best thing I can do to be a better boyfriend is to listen and try not to interject and make it about me. Oh, y yeah. Y yeah, we're not together, officially. No labels. No, I remembered, kitten. It's just, I guess, my brain's stuck on it. I mean, I, I'm sorry, this isn't, this isn't an appropriate time. Uh, y you want to talk about it? Um, uh, okay. Can I say my piece, please? 
Thank you. I... I... I love you. More than anything. Being here with you has brought me a peace I didn't even know was possible. And... and we work well together, you know? We sleep in the same bed. We cuddle. We kiss. We... We synergize or whatever so fucking well, kitten. I know that I haven't earned a place in your life yet. Maybe I never will, but even if that's the case, even if I'm never your boyfriend or husband or whatever, I'm okay with that. No, no, really, if I can't be in your life, it'll hurt, yeah, but if you're happy, then I'll be okay. I don't think I'll ever be able to, you know, not love you. The time you've given me here, it's enough for me. I'll long for you, always, but I just want you to be happy, okay, with or without me. <laughs> yeah, I said, husband, come at me for being a sappy asshole. I don't care at this point. I, I am not a dork. You're a... <laughs> You're beautiful. Now shut up and eat your horrible spaghetti. I swear. Hey, um, you, you haven't felt pressured about, you know, intimacy with me, right? Good stress relief, huh? <laughs> I just want to make sure you, uh, you're usually the one initiating, sure, but, you know, I just, yeah, not complaining, just checking in. Yeah? You think I'm picking up on Dr. Helena's advice real quick? So, does that mean you're proud of me? Oh, come on, kitten. One little bit of praise for your local dumbass. <laughs> Head pads, huh? Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Come here for a sec, yeah? <laughs> Is this okay? Oh, 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 shit. Oh, baby, I, I didn't mean to pin you. I I'm sorry. Okay. Let's give it a few hours, okay? The adrenaline might still be rushing, and I don't want you to regret anything. Can I ask you something, though? When we had our fight, you'd asked me if I'd fight for you. If I'd fight the Sunnyside Killer for you, and I said yes. You meant that in a more literal sense, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I figured. Well, I still mean it. I'll fight for you no matter what comes knocking, okay? Good. Come here, kitten. I gotta go to work tomorrow night on the docks near the carnival, so no walking me there, okay? It'll be a double shift, so I'll start at noon and finish at, well, far too fucking late. I'll be back as soon as I can be, though, okay? Good. After... Evidence was received late yesterday afternoon containing a confession from the alleged Sunnyside killer. Police officials responded immediately and arrived at a grisly site. Chief of Police Melody King and her husband Spencer King were both found dead of multiple stab wounds with their teenage son missing. Per the evidence provided, Michael King, or Mel, as his alias admitted to, is as admitted to, I mean, Assaulting and murdering people on a recording from an anonymous source. While the crime scene is still tightly wrapped down, one officer commented on his chief's gruesome murder, stating, Melody was always doing her best to protect people, including her own son. 
I can't imagine she knew what he was capable of. Another commented that the words, If I can't have you, no one can, were painted in blood on an entry wall. At this time, Michael King has not been found by authorities. He is considered extremely dangerous, and all citizens should 